Yo, we meet back to another episode of Minecraft Survival Games. Today we're playing on the map SG Shore, and this is kind of going to be a more fun topic. Um, we were talking about this in the live stream a couple weeks back, and um, a few of you wanted me to make a video on it. So today I'm going to tell you guys my tips on how to ask out a girl. I don't like, I don't know why you guys are seeking out help from me. Um, I, I will say I do have a pretty good track record going though. Um. I've only been rejected one time, and I've asked out quite a few girls. Um, so we're gonna get to that in a sec. Um, I might as well preface it by saying that um, these tips are mostly gonna help people in high school. Um, but if you are in middle school, I do have a couple tips, and a lot of these are pretty general, so you can bend them to the situation that you're currently in. Um, but let me begin. Okay, so if you're in middle school, at least the way it was done at my middle school, how a lot of it happened was um, you, as the guy, would go up to a friend that you and the girl you liked had in common. We'll call the girl you like the girl you like, and the girl who's your friend that both of you have, the friend. So you go up to the friend and say, hey, I like this chick, can you talk to her for me? And then sh she'll say yes, you go and talk to her, and then, uh, oh, then she goes and talks to the girl you like, and then, um, if the girl you like is cool with it, uh, the intermediary, uh, as in the friend, will come and give you the okay, and then you guys can start talking to each other. From what I've heard, that's how it was done in middle school. I never, like, dated anyone in middle school. I'd hardly even call it dating. Uh, it's just like hugging each other and saying hi in the halls and whatnot. Um, but, if, if, like... That's how that's how I heard it was done. If you try that and it doesn't work, uh, like I, I wasn't the best person to get advice from through that. But um, if you are in middle school, you might as well save these tips for later on. Uh, save this in your favorites and re-watch it down the road. But um, here's how to do it in high school. Um, now there's two different types of rules, and we need to make sure this is clear before we continue further ex explanation. There are girls you knew well before you began to like them, and girls who you didn't necessarily know before you started to like them. As in, when you first saw them, you thought they were pretty, and like you wanted to start talking to them immediately. Someone you knew is like maybe someone you've been going to school since since like fifth grade, and like now that you're a freshman in high school, you now like hmm, she's kind of hot. Um, so it's kind of like that. Um. Okay, so let's begin. Um, if it's we get start with someone you know first, since I feel like that's gonna pertain to most of you. Um, this would be an example of someone who goes, uh, someone who goes to your school. Okay, so anyway, let's get started. Um, what you need to start doing is talk more than you already do. Uh, a good go-to conversation is just about school, whatever classes you have with her. Um, you need to talk about those with her. Um, try to, you could try to use school social events to talk about, like, oh, I can't wait for, like, the pet rally, or, like, I, I don't know what your school does, or, like, I wonder what's for lunch today. Just, you need to just start talking more, but, um, if you're out of conversation to talk about, you need to stop talking to her. So that means if you only have about two and a half minutes worth of good, like, solid conversation, and then you can't think of something else, you need to walk away. Okay, um, and you need to be talking more, make sure she's noticing you more, all that good stuff. Um, and then the prime time I would say to ask her out is you got to use a social event to your advantage and ask her out at the end of that social event. Um, a good thing would be maybe a party, um, homecoming, something like that. You, you get what I'm saying? Maybe a football game. And anyway, like, I, I don't know, when you, okay, I just want to make my sword... Come on, uh, hate people on this map. I hate this map. It's the only 48 map that gets voted nowadays, but I'll continue. So, okay, so you gotta use an event to your advantage. Now, you can't just ask her out of the blue at this event. You gotta talk to her first. So when you get to the event, you need to talk to her. And I'd say if you could, like, get her alone, that'd be better. But you can get her with a couple friends if they help you, uh, make the conversation flow well. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, so, once, uh, you, you need to have at least, like, a 10 to 15 minute conversation, uh, get her just, like, familiar with you, and then, 
at the end of the event so maybe when you're dropping her off after homecoming or like as she's walking to a car at the end of a party or like she's walking out of the like school like she's walking to the school parking lot after um a football game or whatever you need to just pull her aside and ask her out now I'll give the tips for how the ask out goes in a sec so don't worry I got your ass there um okay so now we're gonna go to my area of expertise um uh someone you don't know i'm pretty good at um i'm i'm a very good and person who I'm, I'm a person who's very good at initial conversations let me see that okay so what you first need to do is you kind of need to study your body language observe at a safe distance no this does not mean stalk please do not stalk um but also just observe your body language for a bit 10 like maybe five to ten seconds is all you need um just to see what you think she will act like you need a gauge oh thank god you need a gauge of what you think she's going to be like before you talk to her and odds are you're talking to her because you think she's attractive uh and that's why you want to start talking to her initially um but uh how you need to do it is um when you go up to her you need to have you need to start it off with something uh and a good thing is to bang off questions um like are you looking for something do you need help with that um like something you just need to think of a question that you think she would need the answer to um or, or like yeah just stuff like that um and you need like she doesn't always have to be looking for up she could just be having a conversation with her friends and you could be like oh like maybe she's a new girl like oh what class do you guys have just stuff like that and it doesn't matter if she's alone or with friends or whatever uh this works either way but the initial conversation i would say needs to last um three to five minutes at the minimum you need to make sure she at least comes out of there knowing your name and a few things about your personality um make sure you have a cup like if you're gonna go in there make sure you like you're able to hold up a conversation um again if you run out of stuff to say you got to get out of there um, so let her know the type of person that you are, um, eye contact, be confident, all that good stuff, um, and I might as well say this now, girls can sniff confidence like bloodhounds, and, uh, surveys have been taken, and girls say that the number one thing that they look for in a guy is confidence, not arrogance, not arrogance, don't confuse the two, confidence, just act like you're in control of what you're doing, uh, but, like, don't assert dominance or anything like that. Just, just don't, like, stutter a lot or, like, shy away from looking at her or whatever. Just, you don't need to do that. Uh, just be confident about it, and you should be good. Um, and eye contact, of course. Um, for obvious reasons, it, it's just a basic human interaction. And plus, like, you don't want to be staring, like, down at her body because girls find that offensive and you don't want to offend her if you're trying to ask her out. So there you go. Um, okay, let me, I have a sticky note on my, like, a uh, computer sticky note on my second, on my second monitor. Okay, so then you need to get the phone number. Yes, when you meet someone new, texting is kind of unavoidable. And you can use these tips pretty much the same way. But basically on your second or third conversation, you just need to ask her for her number. Um, and this is not, this is a question that isn't really a big deal. And a girl would, would hardly ever tell you no to this. So don't try to make it a big deal. Now you might be thinking, where do I integrate this into the conversation? It's easy. If your conversation was a transcript, as in a paragraph, as long as it's not your topic sentence, it's good. Don't go up to her and say, hey, can I have your number? Start talking to her first, and then just work that into the conversation so, like, it flows easier. I mean, she'll obviously, she'll obviously pick up a hint of what you're trying to do, but you're not making it obvious, so you're kind of giving her a bit of mystery, which is one thing that girls kind of like. Um, okay, let's get rid of that. Okay, so, once you get the number, you have to start text you have to start texting you three days after you get it not one day after you get it not two days after you get it not four days after you get it start texting you three days after you get it i don't know why but that's just one of the like dating rules that a lot of people try to follow 
We might have to carry this into a second game here. Um, I'm not really sure. Okay, let's go up here. Okay, so... Uh, I don't need that. So... Okay, report... <laughs> I, 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 I don't care. Okay, so... Once you get the number, you have about three... You have three days to begin texting. Now... Oh, shoot. There's a guy right here. Okay, yeah. We'll just get carry this on into a second game. Okay. Shaders be laggy. Oh, man. I actually landed that second shot. It's no big deal. This is how we do. Yeah. Chill and lay back. Da 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 da. <laughs> this is. I woke up to that song today and it got stuck in my head. Okay, got him. Oh, jeez. I was a lot lower than I thought. Alright, we're gonna have to guzzle these babies down if we have any shot of winning. Okay, shaders off. Let's. Okay, and I have one more gap that I need to eat quickly. If he lands a shot. Okay, if he lands a shot, then we'll eat it. Okay, I can't. Come on. Oh my god. This is the. Hate maps with the leaves in the middle. And I don't think you can even break them in deathmatch. No, you can't. Okay, can you die, sir? Okay, I. The guy was saying he was hacking. I wouldn't be surprised. But, uh, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um. Oh, he was trying to team. Whoops. Okay, uh, I didn't mean to type that in caps. Oh, well, guys, um, we get to carry on this conversation into the next game. And we are back with the second game. Jesus, Fraps almost lagged out. That pissed me off. Okay, so getting back to what we were talking about. Um, you need to start talking to her three days after, um, on the phone. And the first text you need to send out is, hey. And then after that, she's going to respond with one of two things. Either, who's this? Or, oh, hey, what's up? Something like that. Okay, now if she asks who is it, you need to say your name and then what's up. That's the good way to get the conversation flowing. And then from there, you guys just need to be asking questions. Especially you. If she asks you a question, you need to reply to it first. And then ask a question in the same text. Don't double text. Um, and stuff like that. Now. Um, there is a game that is commonly associated with dating where if you get, um, like, if you send a text and she take, oh my god, FPS, she takes ages to reply, like, if, like, 20 minutes to reply every time you send a text, then you need to wait about the same amount of time. I'd say 15 to 25 minutes in between each time she gives a text. I know it's annoying, uh, because you can't appear needy, but if she takes a while to send text, so do you just follow the same interval sometimes you get lucky and the girl responds instantly she's like i don't know why the, the f this is a rule so let's just text back instantly and that's always easy and fun but i've had it up to like the the longest like i had a chick who it would take 10 to 15 minutes i had a chick who it would take um like five or seven minutes and the longest i've had would be anywhere from like 40 minutes to 12 hours so it can get pretty annoying, but you gotta suffer through it. If, it. if it's like the really long interval type of stuff, then make sure your questions really have some value to them, and uh, you're gonna wanna ask her out sooner than later to avoid uh, staying in that zone. Were there any boots? No, they were not. Okay, so moving along, um, now comes the ask out. You're gonna wanna do this in person. Um, even though it's a bit more scary than doing it over the phone, it does yield better results. So, um, I would definitely do in person over texting. Now, what you need to do is, um, you need to, when you see her, um, you need to get her alone. And, um, it doesn't even have to be that long. But, like, if you're thinking, all right, I'm gonna ask her, you gotta be committed. So, what you do is, you need to get her alone somehow. Maybe she's just passing by in the hall or something like that. Dang it, okay, I'll just keep that for later. Uh, I don't really have any wood to boom that down with. Um, okay, but you need to start off with, uh, hey, can I ask you something? And she'll be like, sure, and then you need to stay, you need to look her in the eye, 
uh, and without stuttering or saying anything, you need to ask who on a date. Now, the ask out needs to consist of a few things. You need to ask who, uh, you need to make sure she's clear that it's a date, and it's not just a hangout. Like, uh, so you need to include that. You need to explain a time, and you need to explain an event. I always go with dinner for a first date, usually because that's an easy one to do. Uh, it can go quickly if it's going bad, and it can take a really long time if it's going good. So that it's always a good one to do. But you, when you give her the actual like calendar date, make sure you give her a couple options in case she's busy. A good way to say it is like, hey, can I ask you something? Sure. I was wondering if either this Friday or Saturday night you'd like to go get dinner with me, uh, like a date. And then uh, you wait for the reply. If you get a yes, you're in the clear. If you get a no. Uh, hold your head up high and like, I don't know, cry when you get home. <laughs> Whatever. Um, here, uh, Zylon team. I, I, okay, he'll team with me. <laughs> okay. Um, I got a comment the other day saying you need to stop Randy teaming with people. I'll, I'll win however I want to win. I'm ranked 700 on MCSG at the moment, so I think my strategies are working just fine. Um, okay, so... I don't know why you solely coming after me. There's a good soul right here who you could equally kill. Okay. Okay, and as a general rule of thumb, have confidence, have fun, be cool, and be yourself. Uh, don't try to fake someone that you're not or anything like that. Man, why were my tier twos crap? Okay, so everyone got those general rules of thumb uh, for asking out girls. I think I pretty much covered the basics. Um, everything else, okay, that was that was horse uh, blank. I'm not gonna want to edit this any more than I need to. Um, okay, so hopefully you got the general rule of thumb. Uh, always show confidence, eye contact. Um, don't be inappropriate around her, like, don't bring up sex jokes or, like, bathroom jokes or any of that stuff. Um, uh, you wanna act, you wanna act mature to some degree. Um, don't be a dick. I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, I think that's generally it. Um, those are the basic, uh, things you need to follow. Um, and let me know if you thought they were good, let me know if I forgot something, and leave a like if you get any of these tips in the future. Uh, thank you for watching Dave from Soda I'll see you guys next time. Peace.